Then that goes on there. That sounds pleasant. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So today we are going back in time, going back to my roots here on YouTube and we're getting some wish craft kits, um, which I've never actually done the craft kit side of things, but I used to buy wish art supplies quite a lot and I would test them out in videos. In fact, some of you may have actually found me from those videos all those years ago. So if you are for some reason still with me, let me know in the comments down below because that'd be really awesome. Now wish, if you've never heard of it, is basically a website that you can buy pretty much anything and everything. And when I say everything and anything and everything and everything and anything, trust me when I say you can get literally everything on this website. Last time I was shopping on Wish was probably like four years ago. Now when I started actually using Wish, it was kind of when I was very new into the art community. The art community at the time wasn't very big and I would often look to different communities on YouTube to see, hmm, what's working for theirs? What can I bring to my channel that's not really done in the art community yet? And at the time, I saw a lot of people buying wedding dresses and clothes and things on Wish. And I was like, what is this magical website that people keep buying these odd objects from? So safe to say, because they sell so many things, they of course had art supplies. And I was like, oh, I can bring that and I can do art supplies from Wish as a video. And now it's been done, it's been done a lot. So I kind of strayed from that kind of thing. But you know, I'm gonna do it again, but this time with craft kits, because I discovered recently that Wish has craft kits. And I figured since I've done Etsy craft kits and I kind of find craft kits from different regions of of the internet, I would do some from Wish. Now, Wish is actually also very cheap. Um, you do pay quite substantially for shipping, which basically makes up for the cheapness of the actual thing you're buying. I believe it also all comes from China, so it takes a very long time to reach you. So I ended up buying four different craft kits from Wish. One was one of those hand plaster things where you hold someone's hand, you put it in plaster, and wow, you've solidified your hand holding for the rest of time. Very romantic to put on your mantle place. I also bought another the craft kit, which I forget what it was because it's been so long ago since I ordered it. It's, it was about three, four weeks ago that I did. So I've actually forgotten, but I did receive two packages. They actually arrived relatively quickly. I was quite surprised. This one arrived, I would say within a week. This is a So Bomb DIY kit. It looks... Yeah, I mean, as a kid, this would have really like, if I'd seen it on the shelf, I'd have been like, oh, I really want one of those. But as an adult, it's one of those things you see and you're just like, why did I want these things? Like what was, why, what interested me about this stuff? So we got this one, I'm excited to try it. Um, I will not be using these bath bombs though because apparently they may contain yellow five, yellow six, blue one, red 27 lake, blue one lake, red 40, red 33, blue one and yellow 10 lake. So there's a lot of lakes in this uh, box. I will not be using these bath bombs. I will, I'll probably put them in a bath just to show you how they look but I will not be actually physically using them myself. There's someone outside staring. They're gone. Next up, I got this kit. This is called, I think, a quilling kit. Basically, it has all this stuff in it, like these shapes, flowers. It's basically a kit where you like make spirals of paper. This is all sheets of paper. So I think I'm gonna start off with the bath bomb kit just because this looks so much fun and I'm excited to try it. Okay, so this is for six and up. I'd make a joke that, oh, I'm not old enough to use it, but I've used that one like 15 times. So we're not gonna use that one today, even though it's true. I mean, this is genuinely a very high quality looking box. I, I will not like complain. I will say that this is a pretty decent looking one that I'd expect to see in, in Target or something. Inside, there is instructions, thank goodness. They're a bit stingy with the sprinkles, weren't they? Look at this, look at this. They've got sprinkles in here, they've got sprinkles in there, and they've got sprinkles in this little tube, and this is what they give you. It's just baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. May cause idiosyncratic responses. Skin irritation from a bath bomb that goes in your bath against your bare skin, okay? Now before we begin though, I would like to quickly let you know that today's video is kindly sponsored by BetterHelp. Now I know a lot of people use art as therapy and if you have had a difficult year, you are not alone. I really, really hope that art and creating has helped you as much as it has helped me. But if you are someone that needs a bit of extra help, today's sponsor, BetterHelp, is actually an online counseling website with over 15,000 counselors. I actually did use BetterHelp 
all of last year myself um, because even now I still struggle a lot with the state of the world. Please know you are not alone and there is help out there for you. They basically assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional and you can start communicating within 48 hours and it's just really, really lovely to be able to have somebody there at the end of the phone if you want or as a live chat. I'm someone that personally I hate talking on the phone. I don't enjoy that whatsoever. So being able to have a counselor that's via live chat to just vent to. It's especially good if you live in an area with limited access to resources. Now it isn't a crisis line, it's not self-help. It's professional counseling that you do securely online. It's also free to change counselors if you feel that the one you're working with isn't helping you. Available worldwide and you can log in at any time to send a message to your counselor. It's nice too because if you don't want to do a live chat you can schedule weekly calls or video calls which is really beneficial too if you are say high risk or you just don't want to sit around waiting in a waiting room. It's also more affordable than traditional offline counselling and financial aid is available if you need it. They always get back to you in a very timely manner as well so if you are struggling with difficult things or if you just need somebody to vent to then check out BetterHelp. They're really really awesome. So visit betterhelp.com slash Chloe Rose. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash Chloe Rose. You can get 10% off your first month. And thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. But enough of the serious talk, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we've got some more baking soda, more baking soda, more of this weird white stuff. I'm guessing that's the compound that like holds it all together, but I don't really know. I certainly would not give this to my child if I had a child. We've got these measuring cups. Oh, we got measuring cups. That's, oh no, there's one measuring cup. And then this, oh, it's a handle. Okay. There's a lot of things in here and I'm not sure what any of it means. This thing, what is that? Does that go there? No, that, no wait, that does go there. Okay, here's the lid. None of this fits, but that goes there. And then we've got these things. Okay, this, okay. Then that goes on there. That sounds pleasant. We've got our little pack of three sprinkles. Oh, okay, see? You can get a mix and match of any of these. I didn't see it's four of them. So it's like a mystery, which ones you're gonna get. So we got the mermaid, the star, the yellow turd. Is that a yellow turd? What is that? It, it literally, oh yeah, it's a yellow turd with a crown on for some reason. And a cat. That looks like Talking Tom. No fair, I wanted a unicorn. That's so crap. This kit makes up to six bath bombs. You can make six single color bath bombs or combine colors to make multi color bath bombs. Do you know what? The bags are powdered to be ready to use. Once the powder bags are open, they should be used to make all bath bombs. Look at, look at all those sprinkles. Look at all the sprinkles. Look at all the sprinkles. All the sprinkles. These bath bombs are going to be bloody tiny, aren't they? Okay. So this thing goes in here and that's what you use to like make the circle. Okay, I see, I see. That makes sense. Got it. Let's make a blue bath bomb. Let's make a blue one. Okay. It smells like Play-Doh. It doesn't smell very pleasant. And then what else have we got? Okay, one full bag. It has to be a full bag. Okay. Squeeze and fill the pipette with cool tap water. And we put this in, close the lid. <laughs> I would close the lid if it wanted to close. Apparently you're supposed to tilt it like that as you mix. Oh, okay. I feel like this is doing absolutely nothing, but like pushing it around this little plastic bowl. <laughs> Aha, okay. Let me just put this, this stuff in, apparently. Well, that was my fault, but that's whatever. Right, we're gonna try mixing it again. This lid is impossible to get on. Okay, so we've done that. I think it's all mixed up. The lid is definitely not on properly, but that's fine. Then we're supposed to slide the lock on this thing. 
Oh, that's the lock. Okay, we'll put some decorative sprinkles in the bottom since we have seven of them. And then I'm going to use this. And I see it's not mixed up properly. I'm going to have to mix it myself. Okay, we're going to scoop this in. And I think how they do different colors is you mix a bunch of different shades of, of these together. I'm not going to do that for my first bath bomb though. I'm just going to use this one color because it's my first one and I don't want to like mess around with things. All right, we're just gonna do that for now and then use this to push it. Oh. That was so fun. There's our bath bomb. You can see it in there, but now it has to, to wait for 30 minutes. So we're just gonna, we're gonna leave it and we'll come back to it. In the meantime, I kinda wanna mix up some different powders. That could be quite interesting. I'm not gonna make all six bath bombs, but I wanna make at least two. I'm gonna do the solid one here, and then I'm gonna do a two-tone. I'm not brave enough to try the stripy one. We're gonna do a two-tone one. I could pull this into the box here. I'm gonna mix up the next stuff. This lid sucks! No. It's snowing. I freaking hate this lid. If this lid comes off one more time, stay on. Look at the, <laughs> this is so messy. And it's not freaking stirring it though. Look at all the white stuff. It's not going in there. Like this is so pointless. It doesn't do anything. I'm taking it off. This thing sucks. I'm gonna mix it myself. Okay, so I've done mixing this one. What I'm gonna do is still, I have to wait another like 20 minutes for this 20, 15, 20 minutes to this, for this one to dry. Okay, so this one has been inside of here for half an hour now. So we're gonna take it out and hope that it did stay in form. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. So it opens up. Like I am genuinely shocked how good that looks and it actually worked. Like I'm pretty sure it wasn't mixed completely perfectly, but this is a pretty cool, like literally looks like a regular bath bomb. On the whole, this looks really good and I'm genuinely surprised. Next up, I'm going to add the next one that I'm just gonna kind of put in a few random little things. And then I'm gonna put in this yellow right here. Okay, this one's actually, oh, this one's actually started to go hard and I forgot it did say that if you use the mixture, you need to like literally use it all at once. But to be fair, you have to let it sit there for half an hour. And if you've not used all of the mixture for one bath bomb, like I didn't on this blue one, like this or here, I didn't use all the powder for that one. So you're gonna have a lot of wasted powder, I think. But we're gonna stick that in there. And then it's like, it's impossible to, to not lose some because if you want two different colors and you're using two full packs, like it tells you to, it's kind of gonna be messed up. So we'll do that. And then I'll put some more yellow on top. Watch how cool this is. Are you ready? Watch, watch this, this. It squeezes it. Oh, this one's gonna, this one, you can't even see the blue. This will be a tie-dye one instead. But we got some blue in there. Blue and yellow. So here's the yellow one. You can't really see the blue, but if you like put it into some water, that's when it would kind of, the blue would come out and then it would mix and look sort of somewhat green. But that looks very cool. I'm gonna do one more. And this time I'm gonna really try and get like a stripe. We'll put a little mermaid inside, plop her in, and put some stars in too. And then the rest, we're gonna use this purple here. Okay, so this one, as you can see, it's gonna be two separate colors. That looks so cool. This is so fun. Like I'm, I'm trying to like not get too excited as a grown adult, but this is so fun to do. This is so much fun to make. I genuinely expected it to be really bad. Okay. 
So here are all three bath bombs. They are all kind of messy, but I mean, bath bombs always look pretty messy anyway. But this was the yellow and blue one. This was the solid blue one with the sprinkles. And this was the purple and yellow one, which I don't know. Let me know which bath bomb is your favorite. I genuinely also think that this would make way more than six bath bombs, like it says, because I have three different colored powders here, sure. But I still have leftover powder from the other ones where I've mixed them. So I definitely think that you could make more than six if you wanted. Would I recommend this? I mean, it works, sure, but I don't know if I like what's in it, but maybe that's just a standard thing that's in a lot of bath bombs. I'm not really sure. Okay, so I apologize if the lighting in this video is really weird. I started out filming in the daylight and because I had to wait for each of those balls to cure and dry. Basically, it's now nighttime. I'm really excited to try this because I've never done it before. I don't have a clue what to do. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy because I feel like that just looks way too fancy for my liking. A quilling knitting ball. I don't even have that, so that's not even a big deal. But there's just lots of different fancy ways you can do things. I'm not sure if they just give you different options. This looks simple enough. So this one has a bunch of dots and you can stick the pins in and you can like wrap it around the pins to make a pattern. So basically there's a bunch of different ways to do it by the looks of it. We use the little quilling tool. Oh, I've, I've put that one over there. So the easiest way by the looks of it is to use the paper on this thing and then like twist it. And then you can like place it into these different sized shapes so you get the same shape every time. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. I mean, I'm pretty much say that in most videos, to be honest. Okay, so I want to make this little flower here. I think that's gonna be fun. So we'll use the pinks and the reds here, just as an example to see how this looks. I'm not sure if there's like a specific technique to it. Ooh, oh, this is cool. Whoa, look at that, that's so cool. That'd make quite a nice headband, actually. I guess you just pull it off, pull it apart, like that. And then, okay, so it's got a little prong. You see the prong there? I don't know if you can see the prong. The paper goes inside of there, and then it looks like you wrap it. <gasps> oh, okay, that's pretty easy. So you just wrap it up like that. I'm making a hash of this. See, so wrap it up. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't let go of it. Be very slow with it. I'm being too impatient. And then pop it off and we'll stick it in. Oh no, I, should, I didn't take the wrapping off, bugger. Okay, we're gonna just stick it inside here. Okay, it didn't really un unravel enough, did it? There, okay. So we did our first little curl there. And then what you do is you put some glue in this little thing. So I'm gonna put some Mod Podge in there. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little paintbrush instead of that thing because the Mod Podge is too thick to actually like get it anywhere. I'm just gonna stick the glue. Oh no, don't do that. I'm gonna stick the glue on the very end here. Just gonna stick some glue in the middle too because I feel like it needs to stay together. Okay, so I've got one little twirl there that we're just gonna stick on this flower like that. That can go on there. And then we're gonna make a bunch of other flowers like that to go around the sides and it should be good. Basically, this whole thing shows you how you can do a bunch of different shapes and sizes with different tools. I don't have these tools in this kit. I do have this one though, um, but I'm not really sure what I would use this for. Um, and I don't have these tools. So I basically only have this plastic thing, um, which is fine. I wanna try to make this flower at least. At the very least, I wanna make that flower. Where's my bloody tool gone? I've been sat here this entire time. I've been sat here, the tool has gone missing. What the heck? I've not moved, I've been sat here the whole time. It's in the box. Merlin's looking at me like I'm an idiot. I know Merlin, I know, I lose things all the time. Even when I'm just sat here. Okay, I'm just gonna spin now. I'm a seasoned professional at this. I've done one little twirl, so I know exactly what I'm doing now. Look at that, that is not bad if I do say so myself. Nice and like that thing, okay. We're gonna stick it in the hole. Yay, look at that, that one's really good. Okay, where's the end? So I can like glue it. Nice, okay. I'm gonna glue this one to the board. No, 
Okay, so I've got one little petal thing. Now I'm gonna take this one out. Oh, okay, so that's how you make funny shapes. You bend it. Okay, that's interesting, actually. That's, oh, that looks cool. Look at that, that's awesome. Okay, and we're gonna stick it, bit wonky, like loose, sorry. It's a bit loose, because you can see the white behind it, but you get the point, you get the point. So we're gonna do the next ones now. This one doesn't want to stay for some reason. It's very annoying. Come on, I can't, I know, don't, un don't unravel. Why are you doing that? That is not what you're supposed to do. I give this kit a solid 10 out of 10, honestly, just for funness. Okay, we got one more, one more to go. I don't know what the heck I did, but it's really loose now. It looks so bad, but whatever. I'm a noob. I'm allowed to make weird jobs of things. That fits so well. Look how cool that looks. I am so happy with that. I think that looks really cool. What I'm gonna try now is maybe to try to make a heart. Okay, so we've got this. I'm going to glue it as tight as it is right now, and then I'm gonna stick it into this heart shape, and then I'm gonna do it all over. Can I squeeze this to like be that weird shape? Okay, so I'm gonna squish this one in. Okay, let's try it, let's try again. Okay, I'm gonna just like squeeze this one in, like at a strange angle, deliberately. I'm deliberately squeezing it in, but I don't think it wants to, I don't think it wants to be squeezed in. So that was my attempt at making it look like a full heart. <laughs> um, it needs like something there, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually do that. bit weird it's still drying as you can see but uh it was fun to do it looks very strange but at the same time effective but i definitely have a lot of paper wrapping skills to learn okay so that's it for today's video thank you so incredibly much for watching i really really hope that you enjoyed it which craft kit was your favorite let me know in the comments down below um and if you do happen to see any craft kits on wish that you would like me to try out next time feel free to let me know in the comments down below or send me a message over on instagram as i say if people do enjoy this video you want to see a part two feel free to give it a thumbs up um and i will definitely make a part two with those other two kits that i have but if i do you see any more i'll probably add it to the next video but yeah for now thank you so much for watching i really really hope that you enjoyed it take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video